I want to uh, drill down a little bit here and talk about what's going on in Europe and Russia and Ukraine. Um, my understanding is, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you guys are not doing business with the Russians or were banned from Russia. Um, can you talk about that, first of all, at all? Well, we were until very recently buying rocket engines from Russia, and this was an agreed upon relationship between the U.S. and Russian governments through NASA, and we did just break that relationship and have put in place an alternative source for supplying those rocket engines to allow us to still provide resupply to the International Space Station. And so now we, Northrop Grumman, no longer have any reliance on Russian supply, and that is a, a place that we um, wanted to be in working with the U.S. government, but wanted to do in a way that all parties were involved in a, uh, a smooth transition, and that's what we were able to accomplish. Yeah, I mean, it's you could argue that it's too bad. I mean, it seems like the space station was one place where the United States and Russia was cooperating, and I gather that seems to be breaking down a little bit. Well, I would let NASA comment on the relationship that still exists mm. behind the International Space Station, but it's been a long-term objective of the U.S. to have our own uh, U.S.-based supply of rocket engines that would support propulsion into space, and so this was a natural evolution that was bound to happen, and yes, I would say that it broke down a little more rapidly because of the conflict in Ukraine and Russia's actions there, but there is still a desire, uh, and again, NASA would comment on this more fully, for cooperation related to the space station. And oh, that's fascinating. And, and what about Ukraine itself, uh, Kathy? Are, are you guys, is Northrop Grumman supplying arms to the Ukrainians? Um, how are you guys uh, involved in that theater? We are supplying arms to the Ukrainians, largely through the U.S. and European allies, and we do that through contracts that we have with those governments, not directly to the government of Ukraine. And we're proud to be supporting the efforts of the Ukrainian people. It's very sad to see what has happened in that country and a recognition that innocent people are losing their lives on a daily basis related to not being able to protect and defend themselves. So we want to give them the opportunity to do so.